Hi and a very good morning to all of you. How are you all? I am Gulab Sai, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247, where on a regular basis we discuss the current financial happenings around us. And in today's session, we are going to discuss two very important news articles. The first talks about India's first floating financial literacy camp that was held in Srinagar and that was organized and conducted by the India Post Payment Banks. Iske baare mein samjhenge, an interesting one. And the second one is SEBI's guidelines for the credit rating agencies, wherever SEBI has standardized the credit ratings and that standardized credit ratings are now to be used by all the credit rating agencies in India. So let's get started with the very first news that is India's first floating financial literacy camp. First and foremost, who has initiated or conducted this? So this has been conducted by India Post Payment Bank, a 100% wholly owned government of India bank, which comes under the Ministry of Communication. As you all know, this, this India Post Payment Bank, with the help of the India Post, has done a lot of things in order to promote financial inclusion into the country. Among all these initiatives, one more new initiative by the India Post Payment Bank in order to promote financial literacy, in order to promote financial literacy has come up with a, with a very new and a very novel initiative known as Niveshak Didi. And this Niveshak Didi is meant to promote financial literacy amongst the women and therefore it is known as by the women for the women so it is by the women so this niveshak didis will be providing the financial literacy knowledge to the women so this is the concept of the niveshak didi who are this niveshak didis so this will be female dakiyas now these female postmen or the female dakiyas who have a deep social connect and they have and they know the people of the of the place and this Initiative has been launched in Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir, specifically in the world famous Dal Lake, right? And that's the reason why the name is First Floating Financial Literacy Camp. Why floating? Because it is conducted on the Dal Lake. As you all know, the Dal Lake is a moving lake and all kinds of markets, vegetable markets, Lelo, ya fir fruit markets, Lelo, and for that matter, even India Post are also located on these sports and therefore this is known as a floating camp. I hope the name is clear to you. Now, as we all know that women feel or are more familiar or are more comfortable in talking to women. So this is the ideology behind Niveshak Didi. That is, it is based on the ideology of women for women, whereby women feel more comfortable in sharing or acquiring any kind of knowledge or getting their queries resolved through a female itself, right? So female say female ka interaction hoga and any kind of financial knowledge, financial literacy could be provided by this Niveshak Didis who are the female dakiyas in that place and they will be promoting financial literacy. So this is a very noble concept introduced by the India Post Payment Bank and this is surely going to in surely going to have a major, a major impact because as we have seen, we have lots of financial inclusion programs, but such kinds of programs which targets the female of the country will result in more of the financial inclusion into the country. As of now, three women representatives of the Niveshak Didis were also commemorated, were also, uh, were also given certificates by the uh, by the India Post Payment Bank along with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. So, unko certificates diya gaya tha as Niveshak Didis. What more do we have? Apart from that, let's talk about the implementing agency. As we all know, it is being conducted by the India Post Payment Bank. However, there are implementing agencies as well. That means that India Post Payment Bank in collaboration, it's not doing alone, in collaboration with IPFA, that is Investor Education and Protection Fund Authority, under the aegis of Ministry of Corporate Affairs, are together implementing this Niveshak Didi. 
So what is the name of the initiative? The name of the initiative is Niveshak Didi and it is being implemented by India Post Payment Bank along with IEPFA under the aegis of Ministry of Corporate Affairs. So please keep this in mind. This is important for your exam. Aise questions exam mein puche jate hain. Now let's move forward and see what else do we have in this initiative. So under this initiative, this Niveshak Didi, the Dakiyas, the female Dakiyas, will be providing or will be promoting financial literacy, will be providing awareness, knowledge and education about the financial instruments and all kinds of measures and why you should go for the financial products in their local language. That is all of these will be provided in their local Kashmiri language and the entire process, the entire the entire camp is being organized on the shikaras. Now, what are these shikaras? So these are the wooden boats, the boats on the Dal Lake. And that's the reason why it's the first, India's first floating financial literacy camp. Okay? Iske lava, we have talked about, it will be conducted among the local residents, among the world famous Dal Lake. And the financial literacy program is conducted under the supervision of this, this, this person. The name of the person is not important. It's just for you, for your understanding key. Uh, India Post Payment Bank, Department of Post, along with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, have come together in order to make this initiative happen. Now, what all will be covered under the financial literacy program? As you all know, financial literacy is a very wide concept. So, iske andar kya kya bataya jayega? First and foremost, they will be talking about the banking and the financial products. What all financial products are being offered by the banks and the regulated entities. Regulated entities such as commercial banks, your NBFCs, the regional rural banks. So, in sab ke baare mein, unke products ke baare mein bataya jayega. Insurance products ke baare mein bataya jayega. The objective, the importance of joining the mainstream financial services. Why? These people, the rural people, the unserved and the underserved population of the country should go to the mainstream regulated financial institutions rather than going to any kind of intermediary. Intermediary ke paas na jaakar, middlemen ke paas na jaakar, they should be going to these regulated financial intermediaries. So, unski benefits bataye jayengi. Uske lao, what all kinds of risk are involved when you purchase or when you think of investing for so investment purpose say related they will talk they will talk about the protection against any kind of risk associated with an investment and apart from that measures that can be taken in order to prevent any kind of fraud as you all know these rural population the unserved and the underserved population of the country who have limited or no financial knowledge or literacy can be easily viewed by anyone. So this becomes very important. They should be knowing that kaise log fraud karte hai using their OTP, using their CVV number. So in sab ki jankari jagrukti inko di jayegi using the uh, using this initiative known as Niveshak D. So bohat hi acha concept hai jaha pe females will be providing this financial literacy to other females and. While this process is being continued, will this will provide a kind of empowerment, a sense of empowerment among the women. So this was all about the Niveshak Didi initiative undertaken by the Ministry of Communication through the India Post Payment Bank. Now let's talk about the second news. Again, very simple. It is basically standardization of the ratings, of the credit ratings provided by the credit rating agencies. As you all know, this credit rating agencies, which are companies, provide you with certain kind of ratings. So they, based on their research and opinion, gives, gives every financial instrument a rating. Whether in terms of what does this ratings, uh, what does this ratings indicate? So this ratings talks about how much, how safe is that asset and what is the, what, how likely is that the asset will make a repayment of the interest as well as the principal amount on time. So, in CISO ko darshata hai, so this credit rating agencies are companies that assigns credit rating. So, it talks about the credit worthiness of the creditors, the issuers. So, jo issuers hai, uski credit worthiness ko batata hai and it talks about 
the debtors ability not creditors the debtors who will take money from you the issuers who, who will be issuing such instruments the debtors ability to pay back debt and make timely repayment of the principal amount as well as the interest and what is the likelihood of any kind of default kai bar kya hota hai issuers do not pay back your assets pay back the money that you have given them in that case these ratings helps the borrower helps the investors to have a fair idea that what is the likelihood of default kya ye default karenge ya how safe is the asset in which they are investing so this is the work of the credit rating agencies and they were set up in india as a private um, independent as an independent organization so that they can provide independent opinion research based opinion on the ability and willingness of the borrowers of the issuers to meet the debt service obligation what is a debt service obligation making repayment timely repayment of the principal amount as well as the interest amount and it also the rating also defines or also indicates and what is the default the probability of default to that specific instrument so recently sebi has come up with a standardized credit ratings why it has come up with this standardized credit rating is for the simple reason that there are many kinds of credit rating agencies in india for example crisil hai care ratings hai ikra hai fin a uh, fitch hai so all of these credit rating agencies have a credit rating and many a times it has been seen ki kuch logon ka thoda sa variation bhi hota hai and it is very difficult for the common investor for the common person to understand what these ratings mean so in order to have a standardized credit rating throughout india ek standardized hoga ki if triple a is the rating then everyone everything should be clear in the mind of everyone that triple a ka matlab hota hai it is the safest it is a safest it has the highest rating or the highest credit worthiness right so in uh, standardization ko lane ke liye sebi has issued fresh guidelines new guidelines and these guidelines will be applicable from january 1 2023 next year january 1 se ye applicable ho jayega right now let's see and talk about what all are the norms so what all norms has been issued by sebi first and foremost is the rating outlook to do cheezon ki baat ki hai sebi ne first is the rating outlook second is the rating watch to ye do terms important ho jate hain aapke liye outlook as you all know talks about for a longer period of time what is the outlook of the credit rating agency for a specific debt instrument koi agar instrument hai what does the credit rating agency thinks about that instrument over a longer period of time therefore rating outlook now as defined by sebi would mean that the predicted expectation of the credit rating agency of the movement of the rating movement in the near to medium term short to medium term mein aaj se kuch medium term tak kya expected direction hoga of the movement of the credit rating suppose triple b was the rating that was provided to a financial instrument credit rating outlook would mean what is the view what is the view of the credit rating agency on the expected direction of the movement will it move to just b c or will it move to a a or triple a so is movement ko or what is the time duration the time duration is short to medium term near near is the short to medium term so isko hum outlook bata rahe hain what is watch what is rating watch rating watch refers to the expected direction of the movement of the ratings in short term aaj ke period mein short term could be within a year within 3 months within 6 months so jo bhi short term period hai usme what is credit rating agency cra ka view kya hai on the expected direction kya wo uh, is it going to be performing well it, it will it go to the upper positive side or will it go to the negative side right and in dono cases mein sebi has also come up with standard descriptors jaise description diya jata hai har cheez ko similarly these outlook and watch will have descriptors in the form of positive 
डेवलपिंग एंड नेगेटिव अगर हम वॉच की बात करें वॉच द टॉक्स अबाउट अ लॉन्गर पीरियड वॉच द टॉक्स अबाउट द शॉर्टर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बहुत शॉर्ट पीरियड की बात हम कर रहे हैं राइट द शॉर्टर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम तो इसमें वॉट इज द एक्सपेक्टेड डायरेक्शन नाउ दीज डायरेक्शन इज आइडेंटिफाइड और इज डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज पॉजिटिव इम्प्लीकेशन होगा या नेगेटिव इम्प्लीकेशन होगा या इज इट डेवलपिंग राइट तो दिस इज द वॉच अगर क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी किसी फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट को वॉच कर रहा है दैट मीन्स इट वुड सी वेदर इट इज हैविंग सम काइंड ऑफ पॉजिटिव इम्प्लीकेशन दैट इज गोइंग अपवर्ड्स और इज इट इन द डेवलपमेंट फेज नहीं मालूम चल रहा इट इज डेवलपिंग राइट डेवलपिंग फेज में है इट हैज अ डेवलपिंग इम्प्लीकेशन एंड थर्ड इज अ नेगेटिव इम्प्लीकेशन दैट इज द क्रेडिट रेटिंग इज गेटिंग डाउन ग्रेडेड तो ये तीन स्टैंडर्ड डिस्क्रिप्टर्स होंगे फॉर द रेटिंग वॉच एंड सेकेंड इज रेटिंग आउटलुक रेटिंग आउटलुक के लिए क्या होगा स्टेबल पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव नाउ ट्रिक टू रिमेंबर इज आउटलुक लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम के लिए होता है हमेशा इफ यू थिंक फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वी टॉक अबाउट वर्ड्स लाइक स्टेबिलिटी देर फॉर जब हम रेटिंग आउटलुक की बात करेंगे दैट इज फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम द स्टैंडर्ड डिस्क्रिप्टर्स आर स्टेबिलिटी whether the rating that the credit rating agency has provided is stable or is it positive or negative teen cheez ki baat kari jaye so triple b agar cra ne diya hai is it triple b stable or is it moving upward that is positive rating or whether it is going downward that is negative rating i hope this is clear to you apart from that any kind of rating provided now this rating symbols should have the agency's first name as prefix suppose koi bhi rating symbol hai agar aap triple a ki baat karo and if it is provided by care rating to so yahan pe for example c aise aa jayega prefix ka matlab hota hai anything attached in ascending in the first place pre right uske aage kisi word ko aap lagate hain usko prefix bola jata hai so rating symbols should have the credit rating agency's first name and therefore this will help in better identification as to which agency which agency which credit rating agency has provided this credit ratings right i hope this is clear to you simple hai just for your understanding for the person who is learning for the first time i hope this thing is now clear to you now let's move forward and look at the ratings which tebi has standardized Now, so this is the rating. The rating symbols would be triple A, A, A. So triple A, then double A. Then we have A. Then triple B, double B, D, C, and D. Now, if we talk about degree of safety, so this table has degree of safety. Now, this degree of safety is in terms of timely servicing of debt obligations. How timely you are making payment your of your principal and interest amount. so degree of safety in case of triple a if an instrument has been rated as triple a instrument it means that it has the highest degree of safety in terms of servicing the debt obligation and degree of risk in terms of exposure to debt so in terms of debt exposure the degree of risk here would be the lowest agar itna zyada safe hai it is the highest in terms of safety then it will be lowest in terms of risk similarly it is for the other ratings symbols as well double a ke case mein kya hua it has high degree of safety with a very low degree of risk similarly if we talk about d agar suppose if an instrument has been rated as d that means that the degree of safety here is negligible and it also means that such issuers will default or are expected to default in तो डिफॉल्ट की केसेस है अगर कोई भी कोई इंस्ट्रूमेंट हैज बीन रेटेड एज डी टू टॉक अबाउट द डिग्री ऑफ रिस्क देयर इज द हाईएस्ट डिग्री ऑफ रिस्क दैट एनी काइंड ऑफ सर्विसिंग ऑफ द डेट ऑब्लिकेशन विल बी डन टू द इन्वेस्टर और द क्रेडिटर राइट इश्यूअर यहां पे डिफॉल्ट करेगा दिस इज रिफ्लेक्टेड बाय द क्रेडिट रेटिंग डी सिमिलरली इट इज फॉर द अदर other rating symbols as well you can read it on your own and this was all that i wanted to discuss ye do important news aaye the newspapers mein i hope you have understood both the news now 
टर्म एंड विच एजेंसी हैज डन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट केस में वेन वी टॉक्ट अबाउट दी फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी कैम्प देर यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और विच पेमेंट बैंक हैड कंडक्टेड दी फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी कैम्प एंड इन कोलेबोरेशन विथ होम ऑल ऑफ दीज शुड बी वेरी क्लियर टू यू एंड द पर्पज वट वॉज द पर्पज टू प्रमोट फाइनेंशियल लिटरेसी Now, based on this, certain questions for you. Very simple. The first question says, which of the following payments bank in India has conducted India's first floating financial literacy camp in Jammu and Kashmir? Very simple. We have discussed it right now. Moving on to the next question, which says, recently India Post Payment Bank launched an initiative to promote financial literacy by the women for the women in Sri Nagar, Jammu and Kashmir. what is the name of the initiative very very important so this question becomes very important because aise questions puche jate hain so you have the option niveshak dakya vitya dakya niveshak didi jagrukti didi aur tini dhan karta dakya so isme se aapko correct option dekhna hai right moving on to the next question the question says recently India's first floating financial literacy camp was launched by India Post Payment Bank in collaboration with IEPFA under the aegis of Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Now, which of the following is the correct abbreviation of IEPFA? Such abbreviations have been asked in the examination repeatedly. So, आपको पता होना चाहिए कि इन organizations का abbreviation क्या है? Now moving on to the next question for today. The question says, which of the following is not a standard descriptor specified by the market regulator, that is SEBI, for rating watch of credit rating agencies? So rating watch की बात कर रहे हैं and you have five standard descriptors. You need to identify the wrong. Which of the following is not a standard descriptor? In पांच में से कौन सा standard descriptor नहीं है? The five descriptors given to you are positive implication, negative implication, stable implication, developing implication, and developed implication. So this is also very important. आपको याद होने चाहिए कि watch और outlook दोनों के लिए क्या standard descriptor SEBI ने issue की. So this is all for today that I wanted to discuss with you. I hope you have understood. In case of any doubt, you can ask in the comment section or over the discussion forum. and in case of any suggestion as well you can write it down till then keep learning and bye bye